Hey guys, welcome back. I'm EDC Gunner and welcome to another episode of uh, what shall we call this? EDC Gunner Talks Watches or Talking Watches with EDC Gunner. Yeah, uh, so in my one of my last videos, someone left a comment asking me what do I think about Archie Luxury and what other watch YouTube channels do I watch? Well, uh, let's uh, just briefly uh, comment what other watch channels do I watch. I am subscribed to pretty much all of the major watch channels out there uh, and including our two actually and I watch I watch you all guys so uh, I won't be too many specific but I do not watch too many watch videos on YouTube uh, because simply I don't have enough time and simply because I have um, some of my favorite YouTubers uh, outside of the watch community and watch videos that I enjoy watching uh, so uh, if pretty much if I like the watch or if I like the title or whatever I will watch it but uh, if Simon Crane throws out a watch from the bridge or runs it over with his Fiat Panda I will watch it uh, if Adricos has one of his endless rants I will watch it because I like the guy uh, uh, if, if TGV makes another Squale video, uh, I will not watch it because I think we had enough Squale videos, but uh, I will watch occasionally some of his videos because I like longer videos and pretty much uh, if there's a video of 3 minutes versus uh, 15 minutes, I will click on the 15 minutes because uh, most of the time I'm doing something else and I like to have a YouTuber ramble in the background so that's why I won't leave as many comments uh, but I'm definitely watching you guys I'm watching you uh, so yeah uh, there are many other smaller YouTube channels that are very cool uh, they're Average Bros and uh, Maverick Mac Dad Watch Reviews those are two of my go-to guys for a, a brand new Orient when it comes out uh, when it comes out new Orient Mako they will have it and I, I will watch it to check it out because I'm a fan of Orient uh, so uh, that's it pretty much all of the guys are very interesting entertaining and each uh, has uh, those watch channels has a different flavor and approach to watch reviews some of them I like some of them I don't like um, pretty much I don't like the, the, the ones that are focused too much on uh, uh, bracelets and stuff and uh, we don't want the movement uh, because I like movements so I like dials and um, I think there's um, more to a watch than a, a ha solid end links uh, let's just say it like that there is more to a watch than a solid end links uh, so yeah uh, regarding RT luxury um, now, I don't really want to say this but uh, I, I, I will because you asked me to so I will uh, I will oblige but uh, I'm, I'm a fan of RT luxury um, but what do I think about him uh, is not something that a fan would say. Uh, uh, so first off, I started watching Archie Luxury uh, back in the days when he had 1,800 subscribers, and now he has like 30,000. So uh, yeah, and there's a huge difference uh, from what is from his early videos to his videos right now. And his early videos were much more calmer, uh, much more. Uh, streamlined and focused and educating and entertaining he was still witty and he was still funny but nowadays uh, you cannot watch Archie Luxury in the office when there are other people in the room uh, or without the headphones because uh, if you watch him right now you know pretty much what I think about when he says uh, man on the moon and starts screaming and yelling um, that's not normal behavior and I don't know what's up with that uh, I don't really care but I wish it would stop uh, so and but I'm still got, I kind of got used to watching him so I will occasionally click on it but not definitely I want in an office environment or somewhere else without the headphones uh, so 
I don't want to talk too much about it. Uh, I learned a lot from Archie, and one of the biggest things I learned from him is to to buy iconic watches. Not so much to buy secondhand. I learned. Um, I always bought uh, secondhand even before him, but uh, I learned to buy iconic models and iconic watches. So uh, and I learned a lot of other things, uh, but that's the one I mostly uh, cherish and feel grateful for that. Uh, so uh, yeah, uh, he's a. I'm sure he's a cool guy and um, in a normal world as a Paul Puta, but uh, lately, uh, for the past year or two, his channel, I'm not gonna use too many words, no more. Uh, Arsene Wenger uh, recently in one of his interviews said that if you talk too much, you can lose the point. So uh, I kind of, I want I like to uh, say it in a few words as possible. So I'm gonna use just one word uh, that he coined as well. So uh, Archie, what I think about Archie Luxury, I think he's a shitter. So yeah, thank you for watching and see you on the next video.